Welcome to this episode of Ask Starbase. I'm Dory, and today's question is, how do you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Alligators and crocodiles have existed on this planet since the time of the dinosaurs. While these two types of reptiles definitely have a lot in common, there are a variety of things to look for to tell them apart. Alligators are members of the Crocodilia order. So technically all alligators are crocodiles, but not all crocodiles are alligators. How do we tell the difference? There are plenty of options. For one, you can look at their behavior. Alligators by nature tend to be shy and more likely to flee from people. Crocodiles are considered to be fiercer predators. Species like the saltwater crocodile found in Australia and the Nile River crocodile are known to attack human beings without warning. The American species seems to be an exception to this rule. In the US, alligators tend to be more aggressive than crocodiles, and that's mostly attributed to how much contact they have with humans. Alligators will lose their fear of people if they are being fed and sometimes mistake a pet or a very young child for prey. Considering there are about 3 million alligators living across the southeastern United States, compared to less than 2,000 crocodiles found only in South Florida, it's easy to see how American alligators are much more likely to come into contact with humans than their crocodile relatives. Looking at location is another option. As I said before, alligators are found in multiple states of the U.S. You may find native alligators as far west as Texas, following the coastline east through North Carolina. Caymans, a type of alligator, live throughout South America. China is the only other place with native alligator populations. Crocodiles, on the other hand, live on every continent except Europe and Antarctica. We only find both types of animals in places like the Florida Everglades, Central America, and countries in the northern portion of South America like Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela. Aside from behavior and location, you can consider their body structure. Crocodiles tend to be larger animals as adults, in the range of 19 feet long. They often have tan or light brown scales that allow them to blend into their environment. Adult alligators usually don't get bigger than about 14 feet. Alligator scales also tend to be darker and greener depending on their environment. If they are living in areas where the vegetation produces tannic acid, the scales darken, while habitats full of moss lead to greener scales. A scientific study published in 2018 found that bones inside of an alligator's limbs are typically shorter than those of a crocodile. While this information is interesting, it may not be practical for telling the difference in the wild. If it's tricky to identify animals on color or size, try looking at the habitat itself. Crocodiles prefer to live in salty water, as their bodies contain a gland that filters out the salt. Alligators have the same gland as crocodiles, but theirs has become less efficient since the species split, so it is more difficult for their bodies to remove salt from the surrounding water. Another factor to consider is speed. Both of these animals are able to do short sprints on land. Alligators generally move faster both on land and in the water. They can swim at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, while crocodiles top out around 9. That's still faster than a human, as Olympic swimmers peak at about 6 miles per hour. Many sources suggest if you want to tell the difference, you start with the snout. In general, alligators have broader, wide-shaped snouts while crocodiles have narrower, V-shaped ones. While this may work in some instances, it's not foolproof. For example, caimans, which are technically members of the alligator family, have V-shaped snouts like crocodiles. It can also be harder to tell if their mouths are partially submerged. If you want to look beyond the snout shape, check out their teeth. Members of the alligator family have an overbite, so when their mouths are closed, you can see their top teeth, and only their top teeth. Crocodiles, on the other hand, don't have an overbite, so all their teeth are visible when their mouths are closed. This method is more consistent when it comes to correctly identifying these animals, but it isn't always an option. Both alligators and crocodiles will leave their mouths open for an extended period of time, so unless you're lucky enough to see their mouths are closed, you may need to look for something else. That something else could be dome pressure receptors. If you can see their scales, chances are you can see these on either animal. 
Dome pressure receptors, or DPR, are tiny pimple-like bumps on alligator and crocodile scales that can sense thermal, chemical, and mechanical changes. DPRs allow them to sense temperature, certain chemicals, and touch. They are only found on alligators' heads while they are all over a crocodile's body. As with many other creatures, there are plenty of characteristics we can use to help us tell whether an animal is an alligator or a crocodile. Thank you for watching this episode of Ask Starbase. If you have a STEM question, please email it to us at ask at starbase-ct.com. Be safe and stay well. Bye!